y'all see that? I broke a little piece of that so y'all can see that it's done all the way. Mm-hmm. And I flipped it over so you can see the other side. Woo! Woo! Yes, Lord. Thank you for this recipe. Thank you for the good food. And I'm, I know my daddy going to be like, thank you for the good eats. These turkey wings turned out perfectly. Let me show y'all how to make them. Let's get into this video. Okay, so my first and the main ingredient is turkey wings. So I have two packs of turkey wings. These are butterball turkey wings. I'm gonna wash these turkey wings off in one pack. And that's the second pack. So I got two packs of turkey wings that we are going to make to make these turkey wings and gravy in the oven. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to preheat my oven to 430 degrees. Ooh, no. Okay. So I'm going to preheat my oven first because we're going to need it warm to cook these turkey wings. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we need to get this seasoning all on our turkey wings. Okay, y'all. Mm -hmm. This gonna be good. Yep, it's gonna be very delicious. Y'all gonna like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna put some oil on my wings. This is to help keep the seasoning on it, and it's gonna help with the color to make it brown up too. Okay, so I'll put some oil on your wings first. Okay, because we're gonna rub the oil and the seasonings in together. So that's the first step. Now that we have our, poured our oil on there, we gotta get the oil all over our wings. So you're gonna rub the oil around on these turkey wings. Make sure you don't wash, you know, ran some water over your turkey wings and clean them up. You know, just like you do your chicken. And I did do that, okay? Just didn't do it on camera. And I'm not gonna cut my turkey wings in half because basically it's only gonna make two pieces and I think that's just about what everybody's gonna have anyways, it's two pieces. Okay, so now I got my wings oiled up. Now I'm gonna take these gloves off and I'm gonna put on some more gloves so that I can put my seasoning on my wings. Okay, so let's start out with some season salt and we're going to use some basic seasoning nothing over the top and I'm going to rub this seasoning all around so it's going to get on both sides okay the next seasoning is going to be some black pepper you can use white pepper or black pepper whichever one you have okay You don't want your seasonings to fall off your meat. You want your meat to have some flavor, okay? Then we're gonna put some onion powder. Oh, I didn't show y'all, I'm sorry. I mean, garlic powder. Then we're gonna go to our onion powder. Okay, so what's garlic powder? Now, I'm getting ready to use my onion powder. Well, that's all you gotta do is lightly season it, okay? I'm gonna put some paprika. That's also gonna help with the beautification of our wings. And you're gonna season both sides of your turkey wings. Now, if you don't have turkey and you want to use chicken, you can use your chicken, chicken thighs, chicken legs, 
you know, it doesn't take as long for them to cook as it does these wings. Okay. So I got that. And now I got me some chicken bouillon. That's right. Flavor it up. You want it to be good? Just be light with that. Because you don't want it to be heavily salted, okay? Because chicken bouillon got a lot of salt in it, okay? So now we got all our seasonings together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these turkey wings over so we can go ahead and season the other side of our wings, okay? So I'm going to flip that over like so. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the same seasonings for this side, y'all. And it ain't even cooked yet. And honey, these seasonings make me ready to eat. Ooh, we Y'all know turkey makes some of the best juice when you cooking it. That piece right there kind of hanging off. But I like to chew on tips, so I'm not... I'm not cutting it off. I'm not going to throw it away. That can be my piece now. Don't let it. Okay, so go ahead and flip your turkey wings over. Now, I, my sister, she don't like turkey, y'all, but for the rest of us, we do. So, maybe she'll find her something else. Now, I'm going back in with the same seasoning, y'all. This is my seasoning salt. Be light. Cause we got some on the other side y'all know once everything start cooking it's gone that's my paprika y'all know this is gonna help with our color okay remember that oil is what's gonna help our seasoning to stick going back in with our garlic powder like so you can never go wrong with garlic powder especially if you can't have salt garlic powder powder I always hit the spot and it is garlic powder doesn't have power to it. Okay, so we're gonna use some onion powder. Okay, all these flavors are gonna add up, trust me. It's gonna be so good. And that chicken bouillon is what's gonna help that flavor when, when the gravy starts to make, okay? So you're gonna put some black pepper in there. Okay. Everything that I use today will be listed in the description box below, okay? Okay. So, we got the chicken flavor on the other side. We're just going to put a little bit on this side. Just a little bit. Trust me, when you get ready to make that gravy, that's going to be your best friend. The chicken bullet. Okay, now. So we got all our flavors in here. We got everything in there. We don't need to add no more salt. No more nothing. Okay? And um, I am going to bake this at 430 degrees. I'm not going to tell you how many hours because every oven varies. The size of your turkey wings vary. But once I get them out and get them to the beautiful golden brown color, I'm going to show you that the exact color. I do have a thermometer, so I can show you the temperature as well, once I find my thermometer. But I'm going to show you exactly what they need to look like. They're going to be golden brown. And to be honest with you, it will take about two to two and a half hours to get them to the exact color that we need them to be. Okay, so I'll be back once I get them nice and golden brown. Do not cover your turkey wings. Do not cover them, okay? You don't need to cover your wings at all. Just get ready to put them in the oven at 430 degrees. Okay, y'all. So this is after one hour. And what I'm going to do is, want them brown. I'm going to turn them over. Okay, so I turned them over, and this is what they look like on the other side after we turn our turkey wings over after one hour. And remember, I have my oven set to 430 degrees. Isn't that beautiful? 
that nice golden brown color and that's what we're looking for okay so I'm gonna show you how to get ready to start making your gravy okay okay so here I have two cans of cream of chicken to these two cans of cream and chicken I'm gonna add in some chicken broth the amount of chicken broth that I'm using I poured it in this can so you can see the exact amount okay so you're gonna put your chicken broth in the can and this is a 10.5 ounce can. So I have two of those and one can of this full of chicken broth, okay? Let me wash my hands. Some of that can on my hand, y'all. Okay, so next we're gonna add some, um, I have a tablespoon and a half of flour, almost two tablespoons of flour. Okay, because I like thick gravy, y'all. Thick. Okay. I'm going to add in some Lipton onion soup mix. This is, let me show you the box. Okay, so that's Lipton onion soup mix. One pack. some parsley. Oh, my parsley ain't coming out. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my... This is so packed together. Okay, so there goes some parsley. Y'all know parsley just to make it look pretty. I'm gonna add some black pepper. Ain't gonna add about a half a tablespoon of black pepper. A little bit of paprika so we can get a certain color on this gravy. We want it to be pretty. Okay? So the paprika is going to add color. Now I'm not adding no more salt. We added salt to our meat and we got salt in the sodium in the chicken broth. And y'all know that Lipton Ain Soup Mix has salt in it. Don't add no more salt. None whatsoever. A little bit of this onion powder. And we're going to add some garlic powder, okay? No salt. By itself. Okay? And we're going to add a little bit of that chicken bouillon. Even though we got this cream of chicken and everything. We're going to add a little bit of chicken bouillon. Just a little bit. Because if you add more than a, about two teaspoons, you're going to mess up. You don't want no salty foods. And salt is in a lot of these ingredients. Okay? So, what I'm about to do is I'm about to mix this together. This is going to help make our gravy. And we're going to put this back in the oven for about an hour. Oven temperatures vary, so if yours take longer than an hour, it's understandable, okay? So I'm going to mix this all together. Okay, so I have me some onions that are diced, and I'm going to place these diced onions in here to help give some flavor. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I'm cooking with TK uploads a great video okay so put as much or as little onions as you like onions always give baked meats a good flavor and because we're adding this gravy it's really really gonna be good okay so what i'm about to do now is and that's probably um Half the size of a small onion that's diced up. Because I didn't use this whole container of diced onions. Okay. So now we're going to add this gravy mixture that we made. You don't need to add nothing else. This is going to be so good, y'all. Trust me. In here. All around your turkey wings 
Ooh, woo. And remember, you can use this for your Sunday dinners. Great Sunday dinner idea. Great for Thanksgiving and Christmas time, turkey. But this is gonna be my dad's Father's Day. Part of his Father's Day meal. This turkey gravy. Okay. I had to finish cooking the rest. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw this in the oven, y'all. And I'm gonna allow this to bake for about another hour and 20 minutes. I'm gonna check it out the hour though. Okay, and I'm gonna let y'all know if it's ready in an hour. Okay, so it's still at 430 degrees. I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm not well, I'm not gonna cover it. I'm just gonna let this go ahead and cook on for another hour. Okay, and then I'll be back to check it, see if it's ready. And if it's ready, I'll show y'all the finished product of my baked turkey wings and gravy. Turkey and gravy recipe, okay? Okay, everyone, so my baked turkey wings and gravy are out of the oven. This took me approximately about two hours and 10 minutes at the most. Y'all, my baked turkey wings turned out just perfect. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at that beautiful color. Look at that gravy down there. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. So much flavor. So much richness. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope you try this recipe. It is really simple, really easy, a recipe that anyone can do. Stay tuned to my channel, Cooking with TK, for another video. Peace. Have a great day.